hello guys uh, today's our new topic is uh, tropical of uh, cyclone and uh, w how they are formed and uh, what the effect of the corrosive forces and what is the corrosive effect uh, uh, on the tropical of cyclone so in today look at these uh, three main uh, points we are we will be cover so what is the tropical of cyclone they are the giant movement of the air molecules uh, uh, above from the uh, ocean uh, and they they also uh, create the hazards uh, to when they are moved towards the uh, land direction so uh, what is the reason that there is uh, the hot air present in their center which is also known as the eye point of the uh, tropical of cyclone and the colder air are moved uh, from their outer outer surface and uh, what is the reason that the northern hemisphere uh, the tropical cyclone is uh, moved uh, in counterclockwise rotation while in the southern hemisphere the uh, movement of the tropical cyclone is clockwise rotation so the main effect is the close effect so we will be firstly cover the close effect and then we are going to the uh, tropical cyclone so what is the reason behind that uh, mostly tropical of cyclone uh, are associated uh, towards the equator region so what is the reason behind this uh, the main reason is the uh, direct uh, exposure of the sun towards the equator uh, when they are directly exposed towards the sun uh, the warm ocean water uh, they produce the high humidity and also the colors effect will be uh, create uh, much of the effect on the tropic of cyclone on uh, on the highly presence associated towards the equator uh, the the sun rays are uh, mostly uh, come towards the north pole uh, very less intensive but uh, in the south they are less north and south they are less intensive but in towards the equator they are high intensive so that's why the uh, region which are present towards the equator they are is, they are mostly facing the high rainfall and high temperature uh, and mostly uh, deserts are present uh, towards the uh, equator uh, part of the area because the sun are directly reflected and uh, the temperature will be uh, so much high uh, the Antarctica and the uh, southern pole of the uh, uh, earth is very cool because of the uh, low intensity of sun is uh, coming towards the Antarctica surface so what is the cross effect the deflection of the moving object like air water and projectile uh, when view from the outer surface of the earth frame uh, when you are uh, present outer surface of the uh, earth uh, like uh, mostly uh, people are present in the uh, astronaut they are just see the ball uh, which are moved from the north pole to the equator they uh, they will be see they are deflection towards the uh, equator but uh, and when you respect when you are present in the uh, along the uh, this planet and they are present in that way so the ball will be moved straight what direction so the colors effect is mostly associated to the outer surface uh, range or the outer reference uh, frame of the uh, point of view the cross effect is strong at the pole while weak at the equator because uh, at the pole uh, the pressure uh, concentration is very high and the equator the pressure concentration is very low uh, so this is the nature law that uh, when uh, the air is moved from high pressure to low pressure so that's why the uh, cross effect is high in the pole because of high pressure and uh, low in the equator because of the low pressure uh, they are uh, they are long de duration of movement uh, such as wind ocean current so they are negligible for small scale or small uh, duration motion uh, the effect uh, is uh, mostly associated to meteorology oceanography and some aspect of astronomy so you you can you can be see the uh, below uh, there is some video uh, in which the cross effect is uh, best explained uh, so so this is the major uh, major diagrams by which the cross effect is moved throughout the world uh, um, you can see that uh, there, there is a deflection towards the left what direction uh, of the of the uh, cross effect of the uh, movement of the wind uh, and this is the hilly cycle in which uh, the uh, rainfall is precipitated towards the equator but there is a high pressure zone are created uh, along the tropic of uh, cancer and tropic of capricorn so mostly the desert are formed uh, along the tropic of uh, capricorn and tropic of cancer uh, along the tropic of cancer famous desert like uh, 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 like uh, 
in china there is a, a desert which is known as the which is which is known as so uh, there is uh, some uh, wise disru disruption occur uh, we are just uh, focusing the uh, uh, this is the gobi desert uh, which are some uh, telling about uh, uh, why they are uh, they are present because of the uh, high pressure zone in the below the southern hemisphere there is the uh, desert like atacama in the uh, saudi arab and the uh, australian desert are present in the southern hemisphere because of the uh, high pressure zone in the southern hemisphere and so uh, tropic of cyclone why they are present in the equator region uh, because of the uh, high temperature zone and this is the different name which is known as cyclone in the indian ocean and there is the hurricane in the uh, atlantic and pacific ocean and the uh, and the uh, end is the typhoon uh, which is uh, mostly associated to the uh, pacific ocean uh, so this is the different name and uh, in this uh, next slide we are just focusing that the why they are move uh, clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere in the northern in the southern hemisphere in the southern in the northern hemisphere why they are moving the uh, anti clockwise rotation or counter clockwise rotation so what is the reason behind this So this is the uh, two slides in which we just uh, uh, telling that, that this is the mapping view and this is this uh, uh, this is the uh, longitudinal or the cross section view uh, the mapping view in which the hot dot, uh, dot means the uh, low pressure zone where the, where the temperature is very high and the uh, move around the cold air which is the temperature is very high and the uh, hot air move uh, upward direction forming the cloud and they are move uh, uh, further away and precipitate and then go uh, again the cool air and they move uh, rise in the so this is the cycle which are continually grown and the uh, the uh, cyclone uh, wet is increasing uh, wet is increasing time by time so this is the uh, just uh, view that uh, uh, in which we just uh, telling that the movement of the uh, northern hemisphere of the wind direction due to cross effect uh, they are bent towards the and uh, towards the equator their low pressure zone so they are uh, bending and uh, forming the counterclockwise rotation uh, in the and in the northern hemisphere the bending is because of the high pressure to the low pressure area they are moved and, uh, and 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 they form a counterclockwise while in this uh, southern hemisphere uh, you as you can see the earth uh, and the earth they are moved from the uh, clockwise rotation because they are deflect towards the uh, deflect towards the left direction so they move uh, counter uh, clockwise rotation in the southern hemisphere while in the northern hemisphere they are moved uh, into clockwise and this is the reason why the high uh, pressure zone towards the low pressure zone they are moved uh, in uh, in direction so this is the uh, reason why the uh, why the cyclone are end uh, towards the beach or towards the land so this is the some reason because of the loss of the moist source uh, uh, towards the ocean there are high moist source but uh, in the land there is a low moist source so they are uh, weak in the cyclone and uh, towards the land they are increased friction disruption of the structure and flow of the dry air and temperature different because they in the ocean the temperature is very high in the in the land the temperature is very low so that's why the temperature difference the uh, uh, cyclone are weakened and weakened but uh, although they are weakened but they are mostly uh, and still causing the significant damage and uh, serious hazard uh, such as heavy rain flooding and strong wind over the uh, towards the land so this is the speed of the cyclone towards the uh, which are calculated from the Indian Ocean Bay of Bengal uh, 6 uh, 300 to 500 km per day is the speed and the 600 to 1200 km uh, is the uh, distance from the uh, distance from the uh, hot uh, center uh, eye point to the 
uh, end of the cyclone uh, of the uh, tropic of cyclone so this is the cross section a mapping view of the cyclone the, in the uh, cross section view you are just uh, just see the uh, uh, rising of the hot air and they are condensed and they are precipitated and they are move cycle, cycle by cycle this is the uh, reason in which we can see the uh, uh, tropical of cyclone occur during the july october time in northern hemisphere because of the tilting of the northern hemisphere of the ocean towards the uh, sun uh, the tilting is because of the uh, attraction of the moon uh, towards the length uh, towards the earth, uh, earth surface uh, by gravitational force uh, while while in the uh, December to March, uh, the southern hemisphere is exposed to the sun uh, due to the tilting. So the mostly cyclone is present uh, is present in the southern hemisphere. So thanks you for watching. Uh, we will be meet in the next video with new.